Yo, 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 guys, what's good? Your boy Stixie back here. Hope you guys have been well. Hope you guys have been doing great. As you guys know me, I've been well. I've been great. I've been working. Yes, guys, I ask you guys on my Instagram to ask me a few questions and I will answer just a few later on. But now I quickly have to clean up here in my yard. Someone thought it was cool to tear our black bags and now I have to clean it up as you guys can see so yeah let's get started I play the intro uh, they say the mountain is the top i say that just scratch the surface yeah we started at the bottom with no okay guys so the first question is where i am from and what my age is so yes guys i am from bloemfontein and i recently turned 22 so yes i'm not that old i'm still young and i and i can't tell you exactly where I stay in Bloemfontein from Bloemfontein and I recently turned to 22 years. Let's go. And we have another question. Someone asked, um, what's my Champions League final? Who do I choose? Um, I think I think Man City will definitely win this year because they have been waiting a long time. And I know um, Pep has been waiting a long time as well. So yes, 100% this year. So yeah, let me know in the comments who you guys got. And we have another one. Someone asked, um, when did I start YouTube? Well, I started YouTube last year. If you haven't yet watched my previous videos from 20, then you can go back and go check it out and yes i started last year and <laughs> is how often do i train um as you guys know it's currently off season now so we so this week we actually started um, next week i think we will be training um from monday to friday but still not that hard we, we are just taking the first three weeks uh, just a little bit easy just to you know get back into things so yeah oh and the next question is what is my ideal girlfriend <sighs> wow guys um that's 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 quite interesting um i i just think i'm open to, to any girl um it just depends um obviously i have my my own how can i say my own own preferences uh, so yes she must be a hard worker she must um you know <laughs> love sports and you know she must want to love healthy and i just think she must be goal driven she must be goal driven she must not be off for the streets you know be be like all those um yes just yeah so yeah i think she can be an instagram model and 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 try and be loyal or or, or she can be an instagram model and be loyal because that would be awesome but yes guys as i said i am really open to to any girl it's just she must be a hard worker she must believe in god and she must um want to live a healthy active lifestyle and she must be goal driven and she must love her family so much and she must yeah yeah you so that's what i want in my girl and she must love me for who i am and what i do with my life and you know what i am building she must support me so yes that's mainly what my ideal girlfriend would be like <laughs> um this next question <laughs> well um this this actually comes from a good friend of mine um i'm not going to say his name but if you are watching this yeah, <laughs> yeah, not the command word. But anyway, um, he asked me, um, 
why do I still support Arsenal? <laughs> uh, <laughs> guys, um, honestly, <laughs> Arsenal is my team. I will, I will not change teams. Um, I will not change teams, even though we are losing and we are drawing so much games. I will not change teams. It's just we are still going to through a transformation phase, and, and I think um, this this season this last season was actually like a sort of a build up for us because a lot of youngsters actually showed what what they are capable of so i think going into next next season um the youngsters who performed this season will actually um, pick up the team and and help the the senior guys uh, you know up on the team to to get that back that that urge to win that winning feeling and that team spirit so yes i think our youngsters has a big big role in our team and i will not leave arsenal i my heart is in london london is red baby as you guys know london is red and this this next three questions actually is also from another good friend of mine and if you're watching this video thank you for these for these questions uh, the first one is when did when did i feel like giving up and why didn't i give up um to be completely 100 100 percent transparent and honest um in the beginning of this year um i i had no drive or motivation to come back to to a track to athletics i i came in to this year i, I told myself six this will be your last year in in track and that's with the mindset i started of 20 21 and that's also the mindset i started off this season and i was like this will be my last year in athletics because i need to start building towards my future and and eventually i was like so if it's going to be my last year i must work extremely hard i must go all in so <laughs> and Things took a huge turn, you know. I started believing in myself again, you know. Um, I I joined a new a, a new group, a new training group. I'm I had a new coach. <laughs> so yes, um, things things actually turned it around for me. So yes, I just think this year I wanted to give up, and as things progressed as i started getting back that jumping feeling there was no more me giving up and i was being my old self again i was happy i was enjoying track again i was enjoying life you know and i just felt <laughs> i've come this far i can't give up now but yes i just think that that is for me um this year something i didn't want to give up on anymore there are so much more story stories that i can share with you of me thinking about giving up on things and then not giving up but yes this one stands out for me uh, from this year and then the next question is what's my favorite bio i'm i'm, I'm not sure if i understand this question correctly but <laughs> but uh i'm gonna take a while yes honestly but don't laugh and if you are laughing give the video a like and subscribe to the channel your boys have been a mission but anyway my favorite bio and it look i make most of the time <laughs> only fans <laughs> um i make this joke a lot you know <laughs> and i will tell people you know go, go check in my bio i have a only fans and you can you can subscribe to my only fans and then people actually go to my bio just to check if i really do have a only fans but the the whole 
trick of me saying I have only fans is actually for my YouTube. So I drive people to my my YouTube channel link and not only fans. But yes, I I hope I I answer your question. Um, if I didn't, um, I will come to you personally and you can explain to me what I was supposed to say. But anyway, I think that's my favorite bio, except from link in the bio to my YouTube channel. <laughs> this is the last one that that she asked that my good friend asked. Um, it's what's the biggest life lesson um, I learned through being a professional athlete. Fun fact: I'm not yet that professional, but. <laughs> I jump with the best, so I'm semi-professional, but yeah, I think the biggest life lesson ever, um, well, first of all, there's still so much more for me to learn in this sport, but so far, I've learned that I'm a, you must stay in your lane, you, you must not compare yourself to all other athletes, because once you start comparing yourself, um, you you lose focus on your path. Then you start focusing more on on their path. So you so you follow them and see what they do day in day day in and day out, and you try and do what they want to do. And 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 as the sport is not all athletes are the same. We are both different, we have different mindsets. So once you start focusing more on other athletes, you are diverting your focus and your energy and your inspiration and motivation to this. Yes, you can you can find motivation from them and inspiration from them, but you can't be them. You can't do what they do exactly. So so yes, I I think the biggest life lesson I've learned and and it came to my heart um, two years ago when I had a pretty bad season. Yes, um, it, it came to me because I started I started obsessing over other athletes, and I do, wanted to be just like them. And that's where my mistake came in, and that's where this life lesson came in that you must not compare yourself to other athletes they are there you are here just be you focus on yourself focus on your goals stay in your lane i promise you i promise you if you do that you you will go further faster higher and honestly guys just 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 believe in yourself because once you start to obsessing over, over other athletes then i don't want to say it will go all downwards but that, that's that's that will most probably happen but yes i think that's the biggest life lesson i've learned that and and you must humble yourself you must humble yourself yes you can be be in there a little bit of cocky but you must still humble yourself you know humble in preparation so yes i just think those are the biggest life lessons i've learned thank you the next question is actually quite quite interesting. Um, someone asked me, "Am I still a virgin or not?" <laughs> uh, I think I have shared so much with you guys, and and I have seen a lot of people, even YouTubers and and Instagram models and stuff. They have been really honest with their sex lives and stuff, and I just think. In the world we are living in today like sex is no longer ashamed people are are no longer ashamed of with how, how many people they're sleeping so stuff like that i just think i just think if i don't tell you guys what i am or what i am not you guys will obviously still still judge me you will still analyze me and say you know maybe He's a virgin because of this. Maybe he's not the virgin because of his hair and his what what. So yes, um, why not just be honest? Yeah, um, I'm not a virgin. Yeah, I'm not a virgin anymore. Uh, if that if that is what you wanted to hear, there you have it. Your boy is not a virgin, but that doesn't mean I'm a fuck boy.
that doesn't mean I'm a fuckboy. It's just I'm not a virgin anymore. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, you guys are naughty, naughty. But yes, if you wanna check out my OnlyFans, then you can go to the link down below and you can go snag yourself something from my OnlyFans store. My code will save you 10% off, and you can also get big muscles from my OnlyFans. <laughs> um i hope you guys have enjoyed this video thank you so much for all the questions there has been so many there were there were a lot and lots of questions so if you guys want to see me do a part two then just go down in the comments down below and go say sticks we want part two we want part two because there are so much questions left so if you want to see a part two go down in the comments Go say you want a part two and your boy will bring you a part two. And as I said, thank you so much for the questions, guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Each and every one of you still watching. Still watching. I appreciate you. I love you. And you guys have really been showing me so much love recently on my channel, guys. <sighs> I'm, I am proud of myself because you guys are enjoying the content. And if you and if you're still watching. Give the video like spread to the channel your boys are men on a mission i'm trying to reach 10k subs i'm trying to do the impossible you know what let's go above and beyond 100k let's go yes, guys i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if and if you guys found this video any informative if you laughed if you just enjoyed it give the video like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video in the meantime stay blessed and let's keep working hard let's go